I have not done an H&M haul in literally months. Like, I can't even remember when the last one I did was, but as soon as autumn hit, as soon as it hit September, I was like, I am going straight to H&M and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. Okay, first thing, really random. I have loads of Nectar card vouchers um, in the bags. That's very weird. Anyway, let's move on. What should I do first? Okay, right, I'm gonna do this first. I feel like you guys are gonna love this and snap this up as soon as you see it. I actually wore this the other day, so let me make sure it looks nice. Okay, here we are. So we've got this beautiful dog tooth. It's a very small, I don't know if you'd be able to see the dog tooth fully, but this dog tooth print blazer. This honestly is so gorgeous. It literally looks so expensive. And the dog tooth is like, I think it's like a really dark brown, maybe black, and then with khaki going through it. It almost looks like tweed. Can you kind of see that? And this on, honestly, this like goes with every single outfit. This is such a good start to the video. I know we're only at the beginning of the video, but I feel like this is literally the item to get. It fits so nicely. I'm wearing an extra small, which is actually quite small. Like I wouldn't usually buy like an extra small. I usually buy like a medium, if not maybe a small. So just kind of bear that in mind if you're gonna buy it, like it is very oversized, but it's just such a nice fit. And the colors I just think are perfect. Like this is probably my new favorite blazer. I am obsessed. Moving on to something a little bit more casual now. We have this striped jumper, which says Studio Serenity on it. I think this is really cute. It's very Parisian. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing a lot of stripes this year. All the outfits that I'm kind of like saving on like Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, they all seem to have some kind of striped piece. Um, so I feel like this is definitely gonna be a trend for me. And I don't know if anything quite like this, so I thought I'd pick that up. This is such a good throw on piece for that very like effortless but chic kind of vibe. I think it's so nice. The fit of the jumper itself is really nice. To be honest, I actually feel like I could have sized up in this. I think I bought it in a size small. I can't quite remember, but I have it on the screen somewhere. But I feel like I probably could have sized up. This is it untucked. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. I think it's a really cozy piece to have. I feel like I'm in Paris wearing this. So yeah, that is an absolute win for me. Love it. The next couple of pieces I found tucked away in like the workwear section of the store. You know when you go in, you've got kind of like the fashion trendy items, then you walk like all the way in, or that's what it's like in my store. And then you go to like the workwear section and this was hidden in there. And I don't think it should be because I think this is a really nice piece that can be styled both like I guess for workwear and for like casual vibes. So this is the blazer, really nice color. I think this has a slight oversized fit to it because this is a small one. I feel like this is gonna be quite oversized on me. And then it comes with the matching trousers. And I really like the waistband on this. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite like thin, um, which I think is actually really great because it's just a little bit different. And I feel like a lot of kind of suit cords can look very similar but this this has something different going on also it's got like an elasticated bit here is that elasticated yeah so hopefully these will fit quite nicely this is actually such a comfortable cord i can see why they put it in the workwear section because like i genuinely feel like i could wear this for eight plus hours in a day which is ideal the only thing i would say about this is that i thought the trousers or i was hoping the trousers were going to be a little bit more wide leg than what they are. Um, they fit quite nicely, I guess, down here. But this top bit, I'm, I don't know, I feel like they're not that amazing of a fit. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. The jacket, though, is really, really nice. I love the colour of this. I love this, like, I guess it's like a very light beige with a slight cool tone to it. So it's quite a unique colour, which I think is great. And with the chunky loafers, I think this looks quite cool. I feel like this is probably how I would style it for like a daytime kind of casual event, I guess. So yeah, let me know what you think. But yeah, I think this is this is a nice outfit. Yes, the blazer, not entirely sure on the trousers, but you guys can let me know. Leather style trousers are gonna absolutely have a moment this autumn winter. I can see it already. They're literally in all of the stores especially trousers like this that have this slight kind of wide leg effect to them. 
They can be dressed up quite nicely with heels, but dressed down, they just look so cool, so effortless, and I just love them. So yeah, I don't think I've ever really had a pair from H&M before, I'm just trying to think. Maybe once. But these ones are really nice. They had them on the mannequin and I was like, these look so lovely. They didn't have my usual size. I do usually wear a six in trousers, but I picked up a size eight. And actually, I have a feeling that these might run small anyway. So this could be the perfect size. These literally fit so well. I'm really, really glad that I picked up the size eight. Cause I think had I picked up the six, they might not have fit. So just something to, I guess, bear in mind. I think these do run smaller than other H&M trousers. In terms of length, I don't know how well you can see, hopefully you can see the bottom, this camera angle is not the one. I am wearing chunky loafers. I'm about five foot four. Lengthwise, these are actually perfect for me. So yeah, if you are a little bit taller, maybe just like check exact measurements and stuff on the website. Usually H&M stuff is very long on me, so this is great, maybe I've grown. But um, yeah, really, really great pair of trousers. I'm very excited to style these up with lots of different outfits. You really can't go wrong with a basic and this little black roll neck is exactly what I was looking for. I actually don't have a huge amount of pieces like this. I have done in the past, but they go missing. I don't know where they go. I feel like tops like this just don't stay in my wardrobe for very long. I feel like I either lose them or my sister steals them, which is most likely the case. So yeah, just a cute little black basic top. It was... $12.99, which I think is quite a good price. And they do this in a lot of different colors as well, so I'll link them below. This is one of those basic everyday pieces that I think everyone needs, like literally everyone. I think this kind of piece looks so good on girls. Even guys, like my boyfriend has tops like this, and I just think they work so well for the colder months. I love how soft this fabric is. It's a nice and like thin fabric, but not thin as in like it feels cheap, just thin as just like a great kind of, base layer I guess. Um, the roll neck isn't too tight on the neck which is great because sometimes that happens. I just think this is a really lovely everyday essential and I could not recommend this enough and I'll definitely be buying it in the other colours because I, you know when you've like found one good top and you're like yes this is great. I am one of those people that I will just buy it in every other colour because I know that the fit is amazing. So yeah great great top. Love it. To go with the top from before for that slight kind of like, I guess gossip girl inspired look, I picked up this skirt, which I think is really cute. Okay, that's the way it goes. How sweet is that? I love the kind of beige color going through it, as well as like obviously the really dark gray and the black. It's very sweet. It kind of looks a bit like a school skirt, but I feel like with the top from before, with like a really lovely like boot clay jacket over the top, it's just gonna look so chic. Very like Chanel-esque as well. And yeah, I feel like, again, that is kind of gonna be my vibe this year. I seem to be picking up a lot of um, Chanel-esque, gossip girly kind of outfits. If you have a look on my Instagram, you'll know what I mean. This outfit just feels so classically autumn to me. In a weird way, I feel like, do you remember those photos that everyone, well, that a lot of like American girls took in the fall? It must have been like 2015, 2016, that kind of time. I feel like I'm one of them girls in this outfit, but a kind of more, I guess, modern version of that. I think this outfit with a pair of chunky loafers, big like black or beige blazer over the top, oh my God, it just, I'm picturing it now, like I'm gonna have to shoot that outfit this week when I go out shooting because I just, I think it's gonna look so good. But yeah, the skirt is lovely. Sorry, I feel like I, I spent so long talking about the outfit and not the skirt. Skirt is really, really nice. It hasn't got a huge amount of like stretch in it. So I probably, if I do find this in the size eight, I might size up um, just like, so it's a little bit more comfortable. But if not, the six is also fine. But um, yeah, it's really lovely. I'll show you the back as well, just so you can see like it's not too short. Um, obviously it is still a mini skirt, but like I don't feel super exposed in this. I think that I will start wearing this with like tights that I think we are getting onto that time now. And I really want to find a nice pair of like, if I actually, if any of you guys know where I can buy like really nice kind of black, but like see-through-ish tights, I always struggle. I've bought them from Primark before, but literally they rip after like two wears. So if anyone knows where I can get a good pair, let me know. Um, but yeah, would recommend the skirt, would recommend it with this top. I think this is a really cute look. I'm going to show you an accessory next because this bag 
literally caught my eye from the other side of the store. Does this not look like the Prada Clio bag? Like, it's pretty much exactly the same, like the same kind of shape. And it looks more expensive than it was. I actually don't think I have the label on this anymore. I don't know where I put it. But I don't think it was really that expensive, but it looks a lot more expensive than it was, which is, I think, key for me when shopping for bags, especially. But I love this. I just think it's really chic. And I think the strap's adjustable as well, so you can make it a little bit longer and a little bit shorter if you need to. The next piece I picked up is this gorgeous top, which is really blending into the background. Sorry if you can't really see that, um, but it's a really nice kind of fabric. I don't know the best way to describe it. Um, it says it's 52% recycled polyester, but it feels almost like a, like a crepey fabric. Is that what it's called, crepey, crepey? I don't know, um, but yeah, I would like the neckline of this top. I think you'll be able to see it better in the try-on clip in a sec. Okay, this top is an absolute win for me. The detail on the neckline here is stunning, and it does have a little bit of lining. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can't see it, but it's got a little bit of lining here, which is quite nice, because I feel like maybe this is one of those tops that not like everyone could wear a bra with, or if you did, I feel like, you've got to be careful with like the straps, because the shoulders sit like, slightly over, I don't know if you can see that, where if I was wearing like a bra shop, I think you'd be able to see it. So it's nice that they provided that extra bit of kind of support and coverage. This is a really nice top though. I think with the jeans, I think it works really well. I think this is maybe one of those pieces that you can wear for like more of like a, I don't know, like an office-y vibe, or you could really pair it back and just wear it with like jeans, trainers, little blazer thrown over the top and wear it a little bit more casual. But yeah, it's lovely, really, really, really nice. Fabric feels lovely. I don't really wear fabrics like this that often, um, but yeah, it's really comfortable. I don't know, it's one of those fabrics, it doesn't feel like it would be super comfortable um, just because of like the nature of it. It's quite like a, I guess the best word is like almost like a crunchy kind of fabric, but it's actually really nice on. So yeah, great top, really glad that I picked this up because this is one that I was like, Mm, I'm not 100% sure on, but I'm so glad that I did now. You know how I was saying earlier about stripes? I wasn't joking, like I really am buying a lot of stripes at the moment. This jumper, I kind of bought as more of like a throw around jumper. You know like when people kind of just throw them over their shoulders like that? Obviously I will wear it, but for the autumn months, before it gets a little bit too cold, a little throw on, kind of like a scarf or like a, um, is it called a bolero? Just kind of like that. I just think it's really cute. I tried it on with the dress the other day and I was like, this is very chic. Um, they do this in the other colorway as well. So they do it in this color of the stripe then with like black stripes, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll link that one down below. But this one I thought I'd get a little bit more use out of. I was gonna style this up with some jeans, but I actually feel like these kind of more tailored trousers really work with the colors of the jumper. So this is, how I would probably wear it if I wasn't gonna wear this over my shoulders. This is a really lovely, lovely jumper. It's so like cozy and warm and actually not itchy, which I feel like is really important when it comes to finding good quality jumpers. So this is an absolute win for me. I'm now feeling very tempted to pick up the other color just because this is that nice. And I feel like this is one of those jumpers that will sell out so quick. You know when you just see things on H&M and you're like, mm, I feel like as soon as the temperature drops, this is gonna go and I feel like this is probably that kind of piece. So yeah, if you do like it, I would 100% recommend picking it up. I think it's a very chic, but I do feel very, very hot filming this right now. Like, I think it's still only, I think it's probably only like 20 degrees outside, but like, it's so hot, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm not quite prepped for autumn yet. I feel like I'll be wearing this over the shoulders for a little bit longer, but it is very cute. I don't often go into the divided section at H&M. I just feel like I'm a bit old for it now, which is really sad. But I did see this cropped shirt and I thought this was really nice. And I think this paired with like some really lovely tailored trousers will look so nice, very like Parisian. That was kind of my inspo for this. So that's probably how I'm gonna try it on in the try on clip. And then you guys can let me know what you think. But I just thought it was quite nice. The only thing I do wish about this was that the shirt fabric was a little more stiff, like it's quite a soft fabric. Um, so I don't know if it will have the kind of, I don't know, the kind of fit that I'm envisioning in my mind, but I'm gonna try it on anyway, because 
I like the colour, I like this colour blue, I think it's really nice. I am not mad about this at all. I think this is quite a nice look. Not like very classically me, but I quite like it. Let me know what you think as well in the comments. The shirt, like I was saying, I wish it was a slightly stiffer fabric, but maybe like once I wash it and if I give it like a nice crisp steam, maybe that will kind of fix it. I was also thinking this would look really nice with like cute little tennis skirts or like a little mini skirt. You know, like the Miu Miu-esque ones that everyone's wearing at the moment. If you want to make this very like, I guess on trend. I don't personally feel like I would suit that style, but I might give it a go and you never know. See, you can watch out and look out for my styling videos. You can see if my style will look like that, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry, I got really distracted. It's a cute shirt. I think it's nice. They did this in white as well. I remember seeing it in white, but I did go for the blue and I'm glad that I did. And I think it works with these trousers. I think it does make it look a little bit more classy. Um, also, like, even if I threw like a jumper over the top of this, I think that would look really nice. Just kind of ways to make it look a little bit more timeless. So yeah, I think this is a good piece. I'm glad that I picked it up. I'm glad that I stretched myself a little bit with this one. And then the final piece that I picked up today is this white top. It's very basic, but quite essential, I would say. I think it's got slight puffy shoulders and then a little like V kind of neckline detail which I think will be really nice. I think it will just work under a lot of things like blazers, little jackets, um, even like I was saying earlier, like throwing a jumper over your shoulders. I think that will look quite nice. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick it up. It was a really good price. It was usually like, I think it was 12 99 which is really good. So yeah, I think this is a nice little piece to end on. I feel like we're ending on not so great of a note because I do not like the fit of this top. I would not recommend it. It's just very inconsistent. Like the shoulders just feel really kind of baggy. The sleeves don't fit well. Like I think there's a lot of excess fabric going on here and there doesn't need to be. Um, even like here on the top, it's not great. So I would definitely recommend the white top that I tried on earlier, the long sleeve one over this. Um, but yeah, I feel like other than this top though, it actually was a really good haul. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.